what's good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i will be taking you guys through my picks of the top wwe elite figures of 2018 2018 has been a magnificent year for Mattel and their WWE Elite line. We have seen so many great figures. We've seen some re-releases. We've seen some epic, you know, uh, exclusives. We've seen some terrible figures and uh, everything in between. I mean, I think that it's been a really strong year. This has been the best year for Mattel and their WWE line, Elite line. You know, we've seen true effects. We've seen the interchangeable hands. We've seen just highly detailed figures and it's just been a great year. I cannot wait for 2019, but today we're going to go through my picks for the per my personal top figures of 2018. Uh, I could not narrow down a top 10 so I'm just going to run through all the figures that I think should belong in here I don't have an honorable mentions it's just going to be straight up what I think was the top fa uh, figures and I'm going to of course tell you why I think they should be on there and uh, everything like that guys so let's go ahead and get started all right guys so starting off we do have both versions of the elite 63 Shelton Benjamin we have the oh my god the back of his skull is cracked oh my god a second time so we have the elite 63 Shelton Benjamin not only the chase variant but the regular elite 63 we have the 2018 or 2017 version of Sheldon, and then we have the Chase variant from, uh, you know, a Ruthless Aggression Era Gold Standard. Uh, I did switch out the knee pads on this guy and this guy just because the freaking knee pads were way too massive, but this figure is amazing. Um, I think it's been a long, long time coming that we got an elite Shelton Benjamin. I guess they just didn't have him under a Legends deal or, you know, a WWE contract in order for us to get this guy. But I'm so happy that we did. He's one of my favorite wrestlers ever, and he is the current MDT United States Champion. So, of course, he is rocking that right now. Maybe he'll rock the gold standard version. I don't know. Maybe we should make a United States uh, standard version. I don't know. That'd be really cool to see. But, uh, uh, this figure had to go on here. I think it's epic as crap, and uh, it had to go on my top figures of 2018. Next up, guys, is the Elite New Day. We have the Elite 60 and 61 New Day. Of course, Elite 60 contained Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, and then Elite 61 had Big E in there. And these are easily the best New Day Elites. I mean, my God, look at that attire. They're just so fresh. I think I popped up a picture on Instagram on why these guys were so nice. The, the I put the Raw and SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships on these guys, and I think I even added the U.S. title to somebody in this trio and it looked so freaking flames i was super excited for it it looked great and i did add the uh, fix up to kofi's hair there and made him stand out more accurate but i love just the colorway i think the color really brings it out it's their best attire i think you know the other ones were a little bit odd i like their first versions and i like the toys r us exclusive the orange ones were a bit disappointing just because it wasn't accurate but had to include these uh, uh, these new elite new day in my top figures of 2018 Speaking of great tag teams, guys, we have the Elite 64 Usos, and I had to put these on here just because the Elite 54 were great. You know, the Elite 54 and the white attire were great, but I think that the Elite 64 took it a step further, especially with these cloth jackets. I think Jimmy came with the cloth jacket, and I bought two of them so that both of them could have matching jackets, and I also uh, gave them both red bandanas, and I did switch their shoes with the Elite 54 Usos just to have all red attires, and they are the MDT World Tag Team Champions, so, so they look terrific, and um, I love the updated head scan. I know Jay is pretty much the same, but the Jimmy did get an updated look and they look great. They had to be included. Next up, we have a pair of AJ Styles figures. We have the Elite 61 and the Top Talents 2018 Elite. And both of these, this one didn't even come with knee pads, but this one did come with knee pads. And this is his look from WrestleMania 34 where he fought Shinsuke. The interchangeable hands, the light blue, silver, and everything thrown in here is just incredible. I love the head scan and he does come with a nice vest. Uh, easily the best AJ Styles Elite that they've released in my opinion just because it's complete, you know, interchangeable hands, accurate knee pads, great head scan, definitely the best AJ, but this one's awesome as well. I love this United States attire. I had the, you know, I did add this camo vest and knee pads, but it's still a great figure nonetheless. I love this attire. Um, I wish we got the camo version, but I think the US version is still great. Couldn't leave it off my list, so we have two phenomenal AJ Styles figures on my top ones of 2018. We're continuing our tag team trend here, guys. We have Akum and Rezar, the authors of Pain. I could not leave these out. These are Elite 62 figures, and uh, when these first released, I mean, we knew they were going to be great. They're highly detailed. They have really cool uh, new molds for their legs. Uh, the head scans are some of the best you can see from Mattel. I think they did an excellent job on their tires, on the parts they used. I mean, th these are just complete. I think that... Uh, you know, their, their mask accessories aren't the best, but they're still not bad by any means. They have really good articulation. They're not stiff. Um, you can actually pose these guys around and everything. So 
AOP was definitely on here. I think I mentioned it multiple times that they would probably be on the top figures of 2018, and I was right. Next, we have a pair of Triple H Elites. We have the WrestleMania 35, WrestleMania 18, Triple H, or is it 19? I can never remember. I think it's WrestleMania 19. And then we have the WrestleMania 33 Triple H from where he fought uh, Seth Rollins. And both of these are great. It's sort of like a then now forever here. You have a past and then a more of a present. Um, both of them look great. You can kind of see how he progressed through his career. I always love this attire. It's our first bearded Triple H head scan. Great vest on this. It also came with a sledgehammer and a water bottle, I do believe. And it's just a perfect head scan and a great Triple H figure. If you don't own any Triple H figure for a current day, you definitely need to grab the Elite 60. And then this one's a great throwback. Um, it doesn't have the fidget spinner waist, which is a problem usually with the older uh, Triple H figures, you know, when they use this type of mold, they usually, you know, F it up. It does include the decal, the game decal that they usually leave off. And it's just a perfect figure. It also comes with the World Heavyweight title, the water bottle, and the sledgehammer. So both of these are per uh, perfect in my opinion, and they both, uh, Triple H is one of my favorites of all time, so he had to be on the list. One guy that does not include his tag team partner is the Elite 61 Tyler Breeze. And the reason that he doesn't is because Fandango was a letdown, but Tyler Breeze was not, guys. You get a ton of accessories, a cloth t-shirt, a selfie stick, a police hat, police glasses, and uh, look at this head scan. It's a perfect rendition of Tyler Breeze. I think the True Effects scan is so nice. Um, it's a great base for Young Bucks, which really doesn't have anything to do with how great the figure is. It's just something to take note of. And it's definitely his best elite. I think the Fashion Popo t-shirt with the attire is great. And uh, Tyler Breeze, fantastic. Another single superstar right here, guys. We have Sami Zayn, the Elite 63 Sami Zayn. Of course, I did fix this up. Uh, you guys saw an action figure surgery. I switched out the arms. I, uh, I, I think that's all I did. I switched out the arms and maybe the hands to give him that heel white tape look that he used to rock before he got injured. And uh, this figure is great. Great head scan. Kind of looks like Seth Rogen, but it's still great. You get a Yep, Yep, Yep t-shirt that is cloth. And it's one of his best attires that he's worn over the past couple years. So I think that Mattel did a good job on this. And it is an updated Sami Zayn. Hopefully he returns very soon and we'll be able to use this man in videos and stuff like that. Uh, so Sami Zayn, this had to go on the list. I think that I don't think he's had a bad figure by any means, but this is definitely his best. Shout out to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, guys. We have uh, WWE Figure Buddies. We got Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins, and this is the Elite 64 Kurt Hawkins and the Elite 59 Zack Ryder. And this is the Chase variant Kurt Hawkins. I think I liked it a little bit better than his blue version. I like the black a little bit more, probably just because it's, you know, more sought after because it's a Chase variant, but it's still strong. I think the head scan and the attire is pretty much perfect. The accessories are perfect, and Zack Riders the same way. I think they did a fantastic job on this. Even though I would have preferred the Dolph Ziggler, Randy Orton, Finn Balor style torso, I still think it's a good figure nonetheless. I did switch out the boots, but that really doesn't have anything to do with it. I still think it's a good figure overall, so I had to include both of these guys on my top figures of 2018. Next up, guys, we have a trio of my boy Seth Rollins. We have the Elite 64, the SummerSlam 2017 Elite, and then we have the Top Talents 2018 Seth Rollins. I did fix up, you know, this one I did put a uh, Elite 37 head scan. He is painted up from the pick fed. He has a black eye and a bloody face from stuff like that. If you guys want to catch up on that, go watch the MDT Wrestling Playlist. But these two right here, specifically the Elite 64 and the Top Talents, are two of my favorite figures of the year. I think that this is easily probably the best Mattel head scan they've ever made. I mean, am I right? It looks identical to Seth Rollins. The True Effects things have just made waves. I love the the 2K creator wrestler attire that he wore. At the time, I wasn't a big fan, but uh, it's definitely grown on me, and I love that we have it in figure form now, and uh, it puts my custom to shame. Uh, you know, it's not going to paint chip or anything, and the top talents is really simple, but it's still beautiful when you put the SummerSlam arms on there, throw a custom shirt on there. I mean, my God, it's like a walking Seth Rollins replica. So, all three of these guys are great. I think that all of Seth Rollins' figures that we get are amazing, but I would pick all of three of these over the Elite 57, though that one's a great figure. I like these head scans more, and uh, even though this one came with that same head scan, it's still, I like the attire better, and I don't know. Couldn't top Seth Rollins in 2018. Three figures for him in my top figures of the year. Another figure that we have, guys, is Elite 59 Kurt Angle. What's not to love about this figure? I did put on a custom jacket instead of the one Mattel gave us, but uh, I think this is a perfect head scan. You get the medals, you get the team angle attire. Just really great flashback. You put on the WWE Championship from that era, and it's just such a freaking beauty figure. I remember, um, I've told you guys this multiple times, but every time I look over on the shelf, I see this figure, and it just makes me happy and warm in my 
my heart to see this guy. So this is a fantastic figure, and it's such a freaking perfect one. Uh, I, I just could not get enough of it. I could not make a list without having this one on here. Speaking of which, I think that I can say the same thing about this Shinsuke Nakamura, guys. The Elite 63 Shinsuke Nakamura is a perfect figure. I know that it doesn't come with the U.S. title, but it comes with these signature hands. It comes with the cloth jacket. It comes with a really cool attire, and then the head scan is perfect. I think that next to Seth Rollins, this is the best head scan Mattel's ever made. I think it's that perfect. It's so accurate to Shinsuke. I mean, it's the likeness is, and it's just it's just good stuff. I mean, how can you even be that? It had to be included in the list. You must like Kurt Angle. Our next figure is Elite 64 Samoa Joe, and it's crazy because with Elite 64, guys, I think the whole set may be in this line or in this uh, this list because it's it's such a good line. It's probably the best Elite line they've ever done as far as the details. I mean, you get great accessories on every figure. You get wonderful head scans. You get great accessories, like I said, again, uh, cloth shirts, belts, interchangeable hands, and just head scans are the biggest thing. They, I don't think they had a disappointing head scan in the entire Elite set, and Joe's no different. Uh, you get the cloth shirt. You get the uh, hang loose hands. You get the molded red leg, which is them fixing the mistake they made with the Elite 43, and it's a perfect Joe. They did pay on the white elbow pad, but I think it works so that you don't have to waste articulation. So they knocked this Samoa Joe out of the freaking park. Up next is yet again another Elite 64 figure, guys. My boy John Cena, the GOAT, my favorite wrestler of all time in his green, purple, Hulk-inspired attire is what I like to call it because of the colors. I love the jean short colors. I love that they updated his shoes. Um, they finally gave us You Can't See Me hands, which is a huge bonus. Um, the colors just look great on this, and I think that it's a perfect Cena Elite. I wish they would have given us a new head scan. I can't wait to see what they do when they update his head scan. You know, maybe they'll give us a flashback with True Effects or something. I cannot wait to see, you know, the next John Cena Elite that's not updated. I want to see a flashback with True Effects and see how that goes, but you take the hat off and it's just wonderful even though they've seen that we've seen this head scan a hundred million times it's still perfect it's still great and John Cena had to be on here it's it's freaking beauty next we have a pair of elites guys of my boy Finn Balor one of my favorite wrestlers we have the entrance greats demon which I did add the red details and white details to his shoes there which really makes the figure a whole lot better it's still a beautiful figure i think it's the best demon next to the network spotlight hands down they used the the perfect body mold this is from his match with aj styles at tlc which was uh, an amazing match anyways i think it was finn balor's best match since joining the main roster and then the top talents finn balor which i did sculpt on a beard obviously but it's still a great head scan nonetheless even though the beard's not as thick and it is the uh, wrestlemania 34 attire with the rainbows and the lbgtq it's a fantastic figure both of these are so excellent i think i own like 12 of these now for future customs and stuff so that's how amazing this figure is i, I cannot wait for more finn balors in the future but both of those had to be included in the top figures moving on guys you knew that these guys would be included we have the elite epic moments undisputed era and i did fix up these guys i did add armbands to bobby fish or i added an armband to bobby fish and uh, because I got two sets of them and I wanted to have a set without armbands and then I wanted a set with armbands. And I actually have an extra armband to add to Adam Cole, which we probably will do in the next action figure surgery. That will be part of that video. I did fix up the legs and stuff. But even if you don't fix them up, I still think they're beautiful. I mean, the head scans on all three of them are perfect. The true effects are nice. Their attires are nice. Um, they did give him small, small legs. I mean, all three of these guys are pretty short, but they're still pretty freaking sweet. I love all three of them, and they're perfect. I love the head scans, and just to have Undisputed Era in figure form is freaking nice, and they nailed every single second of it. And with us being able to customize them, I think it really does elevate the figures, in my opinion. And they come with three cloth Undisputed Era t-shirts, so how can you not include these in your top figures of the year? And last but not least, guys, we have sort of a, a sort of a cheat here because I don't think many people own this figure, but I guess I have to include it in 2018, right? If I owned it in 2018, it has to be included in the 2018 top figures. It is the Elite 64 Target Exclusive Pete Dunn figure. And this thing is phenomenal. I cannot wait for you guys to pick it up and pick it up at Target or wherever you guys find it or end up getting it. You have to get this figure. It's phenomenal. I know that a lot of people are hyped for it, and it lives up to the hype. Perfect head scan, perfect parts, choices. You get a great entrance coat. I hate that it doesn't come with the UK Championship, but it's still fantastic nonetheless. It's just so great in every single way, and it's just as good as you think it is. And I have to say that uh, it's pretty much damn near perfect, much like the whole entire Elite 64 line. This is still in including the Elite 64. So you have this, Samoa Joe, Seth Rollins, The Usos, John Cena, and what was the last one? Is that it? You have one, you have two, and uh, Kurt Hawkins. So, I mean, what a perfect set. You can't even beat it. 
But that does it for all of my top figures of WWE Elite figures of 2018, guys. Um, I think that, again, 2018 was a fantastic year. I can't wait to see what 2019 brings with Aleister Black and those lines and all the cool elites we're going to be getting very soon with Elite 65, 66, 67, and all of the store exclusives. It's going to be great. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Comment down below what your favorite figure or figures were of 2018. Let me know down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.